Today, I'm going to be breaking down how these two Amazon sellers are going to be making thousands of dollars by selling Halloween items on Amazon. And then I'll share with you my exact blueprint on how you can replicate this for yourself. And then at the end, I'll even share with you two products that I'm selling right now. Welcome to the world of reselling, where you can make tons of money by selling popular items on Amazon, especially seasonal ones. Halloween is probably the most profitable season on Amazon that you can sell in. I see so many sellers making yearly salaries on Amazon by by selling seasonal items. And if you don't believe me, I'm about to share with you two sellers that are making thousands of dollars already selling Halloween costumes and decorations. After that, I'll share with you my exact blueprint from setting up your Amazon business all the way to finding your first profitable Halloween item to sell. At the end of this video, my goal for you is to have enough knowledge to go out and do this yourself. And I'll even show you two products that I'm selling right now so you can go out and buy those as well. Halloween is one of the biggest holidays in the United States. A recent study showed that 65% of Americans celebrate Halloween. That means 215 million Americans are buying Halloween decorations and costumes this year. But where do people buy their Halloween stuff? Well, another recent study showed that 148 million Americans have a Prime account in the United States. That means over 46% of the population has a Prime account. So when we put these numbers together and stick with me because I literally have to read it off this computer, 68% of Americans who celebrate Halloween also have a Prime account in the United States. That means 146 million people are going to start buying Halloween costumes and decorations on Amazon. So are you convinced yet that this is going to be a great season? And then finally, we just need to know what brand names are actually selling on Amazon. In my research, there's two main brands that are currently selling on Amazon that you can buy in Walmart and Home Depot. And those brands consist of Jemmy and Ruby's. Jemmy is a brand that currently sells Halloween inflatables. And then Ruby's is the main Halloween costume for kids in the United States. So now that we've answered why Halloween is so profitable, where are Halloween items selling? Well, we know 146 million Americans are buying Halloween items on Amazon. And then what brand names are currently selling on Amazon? We can then move into Amazon storefronts that are currently selling Halloween items right now. If we go to Smart Scout, which is a great software to analyze and utilize for our Amazon business, we can go to the brand Jemmy, which just like I was talking before, we can go in and we can see that this brand does a half a million dollars every Every single month in revenue. We can go to the sellers tab and we can click on, let's just say Techmatic, right? We can go here, we can go to their offers tab and we could see hey, these guys are selling this inflatable right here. They're also selling a couple other ones. And I know for a fact that this top inflatable can currently be bought at Home Depot. I've seen it in store for a couple of years now and he's doing $4,400 every single month. Now profit wise, he's probably making just around $1,000 on this one inflatable right here. And then we can go to the Ruby's brand, the same thing. If we just search it on Smart Scout, we can pull it up We can go to the dashboard. We could see that it does $3.6 million every single month. We'll go to the seller tab right here. And then let's just go to Boots and Brothers. We can go to their offers and we could say, okay, so they're doing $46,000 with a Spider-Man costume alone um, sold by Ruby's. They're doing $900 on a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, right? They're selling dinosaur costumes. These are all costumes that you can buy in Walmart to sell on Amazon. And he's doing close to $50,000 every single month on just costumes alone. Now let's check out Boulevard USA. Again, we can go to the offers tab. Okay. So he's doing $16,000 on a Darth Vader costume and another $8,000 on probably a different size. And he's doing some other toy items. We know that he's doing around $25,000 a month on these Darth Vader costumes, which can be bought in Walmart. So this just shows that Amazon sellers are doing it. So now what's my blueprint? To start, you're gonna need an Amazon sellers account. This can easily be attained by watching this video right here where I go over the exact process or you can go to sell.amazon.com and try it out for yourself. And if at any point in this video, you feel like you need a more one-on-one -on -one handheld experience, down below I have a link which you can book a call with one of my team members and they'll be able to help you out more. Now, once you obtain the Amazon sellers account, you're going to need an ungate. This ungate for or Jemmy and Rubies can be attained by Target. If you just go to target.com and you order 10 SKUs of the same item from Target under the Rubies brand per se, you can just ship it to your house. You can get the invoice and you could submit it on Amazon. This is going to work for the Ungate as long as you buy at least 10 items. And in target.com, if you go to your orders tab, you can download that invoice 
right there. So now that you have the account, you can actually sell the products. What's the next step? So first off, let's talk about Walmart. For Walmart, you're gonna be identifying mainly costumes and inflatables. Mainly for inflatables, people are gonna be buying them from Home Depot, right? Because if someone's gonna spend money on inflatables, they're gonna want them year after year. So they might as well just go to Home Depot and buy the quality ones versus just going to Walmart and buying the crappy ones. So for Walmart, let's just say you focus on costumes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in store and you're going to check out the Halloween section. If it hasn't been put up, it's definitely gonna be put up by the time this video is put out. So you're gonna go down the aisle and use an app like Selleramp, or you could use the Seller app on your phone and you're gonna start scanning. You're gonna be looking to see what your buy cost is and what your profit is going to be after selling that item. There's tons of costumes, so I recommend scanning literally every single one that you see. And my requirements are at least 30% ROI and at least 100 sales every single month. Now, as far as the ROI, we're gonna wanna aim for 30% because costumes typically have a 10 to 15% return rate. So if you buy anything below that, you might not be making any money after returns, but if you do 30%, you're probably gonna make a good bit of money with not that many returns cutting into your margin. And remember, I promised to show you two exact products that I'm selling right now on my Amazon storefront. So make sure to stick to the end so you can see exactly what those products are. With that being said, let's dive into Home Depot. Home Depot, you're mainly gonna be buying inflatables. So what I recommend doing is going into Home Depot and scanning a lot of the brand name inflatables. So you're gonna be focusing collaborations. So there's Mickey Mouse collaborations, there's um, Halloween night collaborations, right? Focus those, scan those, and see if they're profitable. What you're gonna find is a lot of those are actually going to be profitable. It's just whether they sell over 100 times a month and they meet your 30% ROI. Now, these are just standards that I follow. Of course, you can go out and buy an item that's 20% ROI. It's just up to you. Now, something I wanna focus on before I get into the two products that I'm selling right now is variation because costumes have different sizes. So different variations are gonna sell a different amount of times every month. So for the variations, I want you to go to Keepa and then on Keepa, if you scroll down to the variations tab, you're gonna see a percentage. Now that percentage tells you exactly how many units sell per month for that exact SKU. So let's say the variations tab says a small size sells 20% of the time and a large size sells 80%. You know that if the listing sells 500 times a month or a thousand times per month, that 80% of sales is going to be 800 times per month while the small size sells 200 times. You wanna keep this in mind, especially for costumes because some small sizes may not sell at all versus the large sizes. So now that I've shown you how to find the products to sell, let's dive into two products that I'm selling on my Amazon business right now. So what you're looking at right now is a home accents 12 foot giant size skeleton. This is from Home Depot and we can buy this for around $299. Remember to get a sales tax exempt from Home Depot because you don't wanna be paying tax on this. It's selling for $746 right now. And if we scroll down, we're actually gonna check the FBM box because these are gonna go on a pallet essentially. And our FBM cost is gonna be $200, right? That's what it's gonna cost us to ship this item out. So after all the fees and shipping, we're left with $134 in profit. And I've gone into a Home Depot and found five or six of these. So let's just say you find five of them. You can expect to make almost six to $700 on this SKU alone. Combine that with some costumes, just like this Mandalorian one, right? It's selling for... Let's just go to a large size because again, largest sell the best. Selling for $43 right now. And we can go to Walmart and find this exact costume for $17.97. We put in that buy cost. We put in our sale price. We're going to be making $8.48. For an item like this, you might want to do FBA, but you can also come down here and check that FBM box because you want to ship these out as soon as possible. And this shipping cost is only going to be $10. And even after shipping through the post office or UPS, we're still going to be making $8.48 and 48 cents. So now that I've taught you how to make a couple hundred dollars today or tomorrow, what I want you to do is watch this video right here because I go into Marshalls and I actually do this exact same thing on just some regular items that you can find in Marshalls year round. Because all the information that you need is going to be found on my YouTube channel, right? I hate all these gurus saying you need to pay them to actually teach you how to sell on Amazon because it can all be found on YouTube. But like I said before, if you want a handheld one-on-one -on -one experience with me or some other top tier Amazon, Amazon sellers, then in the description, you'll find a book a call link. Go ahead and book a call. It's completely free. And you can hop on with one of my team members where they'll walk you through my program and kind of show you the ropes and give you that one-on-one -on -one experience. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.